Maintaining peanut research, high-quality peanut seed supply, and checking out the latest high-tech equipment to grow a crop to harvest were just a few of the highlights from the 35th Annual Georgia Peanut Farm Show. From Southwest Georgia, here's the Monitor's Rick Trepto. Uh, they can come in and see the latest technology, equipment, uh, vendors. We have over 78 vendors this year. And it was the largest peanut show ever at the Albany Civic Center a new, more efficient sprayer, a larger planter to speed up spring field work. Both were in the trade show for the 1,600 producers attending to see. Some areas of the uh, growing belt uh, struggle with some dry weather, but uh, there's some areas that really had a good year, had a real good year overall. Growers around Christmas through January usually sign contracts to deliver a certain tonnage in the fall to their buying point at a locked-in price. It's not being done this year. Watching the markets, that's what we're doing, is watching uh, corn, whatever you can plant on a row crop area. You're watching cotton, you're watching corn, you're watching sorghum, you're watching uh, soybeans. They jumped up to $13 a bushel. We've got to have those peanuts, but we've got to compete for our land this year. University of Georgia economists say peanut growers are going to have to get $610 per bushel this year to compete with $1 per pound cotton. The variety choices and the quality of seed is going to have to be there too. Probably close to 70% of the seed supply or even more will be in Georgia 6G. The difficult drought-like growing season in 2010 is making the farmers and the agribusinesses speculate about the supply of the best quality seed to get those higher prices this spring. We really won't have a good picture on seed quality till probably about March after the seed have been shelled and screened for size and sent to the various agricultural seed labs for testing. Federal laws are clear on the growing of seed varieties such as Roundup or BT cotton, and high oleic peanuts for use in the following year. Those are all patented varieties and farmers cannot save seed of those varieties. Varieties that are protected by the Plant Variety Protection Act, farmers are allowed to save seed, but they cannot sell that seed. And so my goal is to inform people so they can make a, in, a, a good decision, not violate the law. The Georgia Peanut Commission and the University of Georgia sponsors of the show were pleased to hand out the awards. Commission Chairman Armand Morris presented this year's Distinguished Service Award went to former Georgia Commissioner of Agriculture Tommy Irvin. The commissioner served in the position for 41 years. It was presented to Cheryl Kaler with the department's Plant Industries Division. The Research and Education Award went to Dr. James Todd of the University of Georgia. The Media Award went to Jennifer Whitaker, Publications Editor for the Georgia Farm Bureau. Jennifer has written and edited stories about peanuts and the industry for the past 16 years for various Farm Bureau publications. The Georgia Peanut Export Award went to Stephanie Grunfelder of the American Peanut Council. A special award went to Sally Wells of Birdsong Peanuts for her work with the Peanut Butter to Haiti Project. And... The Outstanding Young Peanut Farmer of the Year was Greg Mims of Seminole County. Well, on our farm, we've never uh, very much on our acreage. Uh, we, we have it divided up between uh, the main three of corn, cotton, and peanuts. And those acreages do not vary a lot each year. Greg, his brother, and their father have a partnership. They grow about 4,000 acres of diversified row crops. He also knows there is an unusual amount of risk farming. The equipment they buy helps. And that helps to uh, helps to you know take the weather out of the picture some, but still, if you have a long rainy spell in the fall of the year, it can really hurt your uh, yield and and your grade. And the winner of the Kelly Manufacturing Company's four to six row combine for one year was Gary Cohn of Jennings, Florida. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.